Good morning. Hope you guys had a wonderful Easter. I'm here drinking my coffee. Raw, unfiltered honey. For a little, little sweetness, just a tad bit of sweetness, but also for some sugar. This is the real deal shit, straight from the honeycomb. Day six of 75 dialed, feeling good, feeling really refreshed after the last couple of days we've taken it easy. Start of the new week, zero miles so far this week, but we'll change that today. Six days of clean eating, six days of no alcohol, six days of reading, six days of drinking a gallon every day. I think I'm doing way more than a gallon to be honest because this jug is a half gallon. And I probably, realistically, I probably drink three or four of these a day just because I've always been pretty conscious about how much water I drink. And I paid a pretty penny for this machine, so I don't wanna waste it. It is Easter Sunday for me, so not really sure what I'm gonna do. My family's gone. More just stuff around the house, you know? More of just, this will just be like a house vlog. There ain't, there ain't shit to do today. I'm gonna eat a little pre-run breakfast and uh, I think I'll hard boil some eggs. Just because one, I've never hard boiled eggs myself, which sounds pretty crazy, but I don't think it, that, it is that crazy if you think about it because who hard boils eggs, you know? That's something like your grandma does or your mom. It's like an Easter tradition, you know? You get the white, the white eggs, hard boil them, you dip them in the food coloring or whatever, or maybe you boil them in, hey, or maybe you boil them with the food coloring, I'm not really sure, but I don't wanna do any of that, but I will hard boil them. Wow, that might be the most annoying toy I've ever gotten. A brand new toy, gift from my parents. Like I was saying though, I do feel really good. I don't know what it is. I think maybe just the, because we've been working a little bit harder, and then on the weekends you relax, I think something is clicking in my head. Hey, I'm trying to talk. I think something is clicking in my head where like, you've been going hard the last three, four days. Now you're chilling. Now it's like, I'm ready to go hard again. Whether that's like running or, or whatever it is, you know, running around, being productive, I guess. And this can apply to anybody doing anything, you know. All right, this looks pretty interesting. Blueberry muffin. I haven't tried this one, it's unopened. I'm curious to see if it's any good. So we're gonna make it. All right, I'm not sure how I feel about the food coloring, but I guess it's, you know, it's Easter. Let's let it slide this time. Come on, dude. Is that all you do? How about you go protect? Go be a guard dog. Pink salt. Oh yeah. Someone, so a lot of you guys have been telling me, a lot of the runners are like, yo, you have to replenish yourself with electrolytes. If, you guys, if, if you're gonna be running a lot, you have to take your electrolytes. And luckily, Gorilla has these electrolyte packets, which honestly, I have a shit ton. I have all of these, so that's perfect. I'll drink one before my runs, maybe one after, I don't know. I don't know, runners in the comments, let me know. Honestly, not bad. I probably wouldn't buy this one, but it's pretty good. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for today's run, but I'm thinking I haven't done a hard mile since four days ago, I think it was. So I think I want to do a hard mile and see where I'm at after five days. So we got to get under, what was it, 734, I think it was. I might as well just throw my creatine in here as well. I forgot to take my creatine yesterday. <laughs> Even though two videos ago I was like, guys, I'm gonna start taking my creatine serious. I just need to leave it out. If I put it away, but that's the thing is, I have a little bit of OCD when, the house, when my house is clean and things are in order, or if they're not in order, they're at least like out of order, but in order by me. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's unorganized, but I know where everything is. I'm a little bit OCD with things like this shit. Oh. Last bit of that was so concentrated. Oh, I feel good. I'm feeling the fucking sub 30 today. Better be, or else I'm pissed at myself. Filming this on my phone, I forgot to give you guys my actual physique, my, uh, what do you call it? Daily progress pick. Watch out. 203.2. Maybe I gotta lay off the hard boiled eggs. All right, I'll see you guys. All right. I just ran half mile warm up, felt really good. So I do have the dogs with me though. I'm hoping for sub 30. Sub 30 means we've made progress and I think I can do it. I'm gonna try to push it as well. 
Do you guys recommend, if you guys run with your dogs, do you guys recommend the waist leash? Because maybe that would help me out a little bit. Because that way I'd be able to use my arms more. Don't they say arms are just as important as the legs? Because I, no, I use none of my arms. I'm still rocking the Hoka's. I just got, I just got a couple band-aids on top of my blisters to some extra padding. Oh, I saw, I saw people were saying you need running socks, which I didn't even know were a thing. But I guess it's to help prevent blisters. Like blisters aren't from shoes, they're from socks, which is really interesting. I'm gonna stretch out real quick because I think it's warm up, stretch a little bit, like static and dynamic stretching. Shout out to my physical therapy course in uh, when I was in school for exercise science. Also, I keep on forgetting to wear my freaking sunglasses. I freaking own a sunglass company and I can't remember to wear them when I go for a run, which they're literally made, they're literally made for active wear. All right, not happy. 7.42 mile, which is nine seconds slower. I will say this though, it's the last time I run with Milo. He's just not fast enough. He looks fast enough. Milo's too small, his, his strides are too short. I'm not blaming him, but I'm blaming him. We stopped twice. We stopped twice for Milo. One, because he went to go sniff and he got caught around the, the pole. <laughs> and then two, he was just slow. Sorry, Milo, you're getting cut from dial 75. You're just not cut out for it. 742 mile, not great, but it is what it is. I don't have any soreness though. My right glute is a little, I don't know why I didn't say I have any soreness because my right glute is sore. Other than that, pretty good. I'm gonna cool down on this half mile back into the neighborhood up the hill. Maybe I'm being a little too hard on him. I'll have him do the slow days, but he can't do the fast days. Cause I'm trying to fucking go. Like a quarter of that mile left, I realized I was behind. So I turned on the afterburners, bro. Twice in the, in the second quarter, in the third quarter or fourth quarter, twice he stopped me. He can't keep up. That's okay though. He's a house, he's a house dog. He's a couch puppy. I will say though, I think it's my hip and not my groin or not my glute, which might be a bad thing, so. Gonna have to stretch out today. Maybe run a little, run another yoga sesh. You let me down, Milo. Thought you could handle. Thought you could handle the dial, but you clearly can't. You ain't built like tequila. You're just simply not, not an athlete. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Milo. I'm just kidding. That's it. Drink more. There you go. Our boy. Tequila, you want some? All right, so like I was saying, I've never hard boiled eggs before. Um, and I went to go search it up, how to. And literally, when I put how to and I typed the word H, or I typed the letter H, it said hard boiled eggs, which I think is funny because it's probably because today is Easter and everyone's like making the, the food coloring. I don't know why, I just thought that was cool. Pasture raised eggs. I'm a hard boil shit ton because honestly, I'm a big fan. You put a little salt and pep on there. Once the water is boiling, turn off the heat, cover the pan, and set the timer for 15 minutes for large eggs. Okay. I kind of like, all right, so here's, here's what we're cooking with right now. Also, by the way, I think hard boiled eggs are the best. I want to say I, I heard or read somewhere that they're the best for you, like easy digestion or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm making that up. But they're also very quick, you know, if you want a quick snack, especially if you're on if you're on like carnivore diet, like I know a lot of these carnivore guys, they literally just eat hard boiled eggs for a snack. Because there's not many snacks besides like beef jerky, but beef jerky gets expensive. This shit's hella cheap, so. Dilly Dally You Prime Minister, right there. Dilly Dally You Principal. And look at Tequila, she's fucking on the prowl. She's like, give me that shit. She doesn't ever sit down. You never sit. I will say though that I do feel really good after that run. Besides my hip kind of hurting, I do feel like today I feel good. When I woke up, I was like, eh, whatever. But after that run, I feel like I'm ready to get shit done. What am I supposed to do here? I don't want to crack. Oh, maybe I've got the perfect instrument. There we are. Are they breaking? Oh, one broke, dude. I think that first one cracked. All right, I'm, oh shit, what is going on? What is happening? 
I'm a little confused because one place said turn the water. It said turn the heat off once the eggs, once the water is boiling. Now that the eggs are in, lower the heat so that the water is gently simmer. Okay, okay. That's a different one. That makes a little bit more sense to me. Then we fill this up with ice. Don't worry guys, that is not mine. <laughs> fill this up with ice. Why are they floating? What does it mean if they're floating? Is that bad? Oh yeah, see that one's cracked. You can see that one is cracked. How do you fail at hard boiled eggs? I feel like a fucking idiot, but I'm actually pretty hyped though. I haven't had a hard boiled egg in a good, a good while. Homemade hard boiled egg. You haven't moved. What have you been doing? So I'm gonna take them. Yeah, dude, this is fucked. I guess that's okay though. They just cracked. That's all. I'm actually pretty excited to eat these. All right, got them in the water. I'm gonna let them chill out for a sec. Let's try these bad boys out. I'm way too excited right now to eat these. I think it's just because it's different, <laughs> but I'm fucking hype. All right, let's try, let's see what happens here. Damn, I got the agusi, agusi, agusi. It's almost easier to peel them. Cause you guys know how they're kind of annoying to peel. It's almost easier when they're all fucked up like this. I'm not sure what's up with this, with this hole, but. Let's go. Okay, so we have <laughs> three that got fucked. The rest are good. Got the shells, I'm hype. All right, let me show you guys how to properly eat one. It might be undercooked. Oh my God. That is fucking perfect. That is unreal, bro. Look at the color on that thing. Yep. Unreal. It's perfect, dude. I just found my new, my new thing. Pasture raised hard boiled egg. Soft boiled. Bro, I gotta get another one. This is so good. I could literally eat this whole thing. Let's see one of the fucked up ones, okay? Okay, so that one's a little bit more that one's a little bit more cooked, but Bro. That's the easiest. <laughs> that is the easiest six grams of protein I've ever seen in my life. I think it does have to do with the pasture race as well. It has more flavor. That's really good. I don't know if there's a limit, but I ate six of them. Fucking delicious, dude. I could probably eat all, tw I could probably eat 24 hard boiled eggs if I wanted to. Should I do that? <laughs> as like a challenge. How many hard boiled eggs can I eat? I'm gonna do some reading. Then I gotta go to the gym, get a little pump, a little chest day. I'm actually excited to work out. Lately I've been like super, super happy to work out. Maybe it's because I'm filming and I know like I'm gonna be trying hard and like pushing myself because I'm on camera, but Cause I'm not gonna lie, when I'm alone, I don't be pushing myself as much as I could be, so. All right, I think I can show this flavor because they already posted it, so. This is the one that I've been drinking, mango peach. It's really good. I've been drinking it every day. I haven't switched the flavor. I'm not sick of it yet. That's usually what happens to the, to the energy drinks because we get, you know, we get a case like every month. And so you kind of get sick of them after like the fourth, fifth can in a row. But I haven't gotten sick of this one, so, which is pretty good. Do you want to try this one? You can say it's shit, but I like it. I like it too. Yeah, it's I good. can I can see how like some people it's just not their flavor. Yeah, it's and it's not as like artificial. I like the non-artificial tasting yeah. ones. That's why I don't like. Like, don't get me wrong, ghost flavors are fucking good, but at the end of the can, you're kind of just like, bro, I'm good. So, taking this guy to pick up his car. He came home a little bit too drunk, or he had to Uber home from the gym for a, a party. Called me at 4 a.m. Right? Mm -hmm. Just parted a little too hard. I, I drove really there because I was planning to drive back, and that's just not the, never the case. <laughs> he actually asked, Gurm asked me if I wanted to come. I was like, obviously I want to come, but like, yeah. so they called, because he drove back from the gym, or they Ubered back from the gym, but they had no way of getting in because he was just planning on driving back. Yeah. The phone was on the nightstand. I have new nightstands. So I, did, I haven't gotten a phone call. Bro, it was so loud. Like, hey man, 
that'll be me June 8th or June <laughs> June 10th. I'm thinking because I think my backyard will be done. So I'm gonna throw party. I'm gonna throw a party. Yeah. I think uh, hopefully the backyard is done, and then I finish 75 dialed. So then I can have people over because obviously I'll still have the party, but it would be cooler. It would you be want the backyard. Yeah, first. I want the backyard first. So then I have like something to look forward to, like a big party, and I'll be in shape as well. So we could all have like a little pool party. What was what was it? June 10th or June 8th? June 8th. June 8th is that's inter <laughs> that's National Dial Day. What day of the week is that? June 8th is a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that gets me fired up, bro. That's insane. June 8th is a Saturday. I'm gonna get so drunk so fast because um, my tolerance is gonna be zero. Y'all probably noticed how last video was a lot shorter than the other videos. That's because I edited it and we were saying, even though I had like two hours of footage, which is insane. What? Yeah, I had two hours of footage. I got it down to 18 minutes because I think I'm more of a critic than he than he is so like he keeps shit in that I would usually take out that's why the video was so much shorter because I'm like bro what am I talking about but, at the end of the day it's your decision whether it's in or out right yeah so I'm assuming because you recorded and you just spent five minutes talking about something you probably want it to be in yeah so but I then when out. I'm editing I'm like yo I'm not saying shit <laughs> I just took I took it all out but so I think that'll just be a common trend like the vids that are mine they'll be shorter but these vids will be longer <laughs> Easter, Easter Sunday. This place is pretty, pretty poppin'. I think I need more hard-boiled eggs, bro. Actually, I'll get a spot. I'll get a spot. Marco, can you spot me real quick? I just need a lift. That was a good set. Bro, I wish you guys could hear the song that I'm listening to right now. Toss that on. Toss that on on a nice sunny day, bro. Okay, the song's good enough. Toss it on a fucking rainy day. That 75 dial endorphin is... Shit is no joke. Question for you guys. I want to get a cold punch. Well, I was always going to get a cold punch for my crib. And I was just going to wait till my backyard was finished so I could just put it outside. You know, get one of the nicer, invest in one of the nicer ones where it looks actually pleasant rather than just like a tub. You know, something that you can like close the door and it's got a wood finish on top. Do I wait until the backyard is done or do I get it now and like make it work? Put it in the garage, put it, in the, put it on the porch. I want to start doing them like daily, like after, before a run, you know? Because I don't think you're supposed to do it after your workout because you're supposed to, it's not good for recovery. Like heat is good after a workout. You're not supposed to cold plunge after a workout. That's what I've read. Can't be that bad though. Go baby.
today. I've been noticing I'm pretty tired. And decent pump though, so that's good. I'd rather look lengthy than stubby, if I'm being honest. No offense to my short kings, my short stubby kings. We are pumped. All right, why do why do why do females gotta scream, bro? That's my thing. Yelling's cool, but like you don't gotta fucking scream. They might be a little misogynistic or a little sexist, but I feel like girls always fucking scream. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Z check, Z check. My legs look way smaller on camera. They look, or yeah, they look good like in person. They look like tone, even though tone's not a real word, but like. All right, we'll get, we'll get there, we'll get there. Um, that's, pretty, that's pretty sick, hold on. I look like shizzy, like 50 pounds lighter though. Good workout, really good workout. And I posted on Instagram, which I need to fucking post more on. I don't post enough content on Instagram and my excuse is like, oh, I'm doing Snapchat and shit, but Instagram is so good. If you guys are like a, if you guys are an influencer and you're trying to like, even if it's not even fitness, it could be anything, Instagram is so good. Really nice Easter Sunday. Relaxing, it is 3.30. So I'm gonna go home, spend some time with the dogs, and just chill, watch some TV. I would probably crack a brew, but uh, I won't be doing that. Pretty much one week down, well tomorrow will be one week. Feeling good, feeling strong. I think it's, how many weeks is 75 days? Probably like 10, maybe 11 weeks. It ain't any time soon. So why am I even thinking about it? I'm gonna go home and fucking eat some bison though, that's what I'm gonna do. Bison and rice, and then we'll uh, call it quits. I appreciate you guys watching episode six. I know there wasn't much shit to watch, but we're getting it done, baby. Hope you guys are dialed with me. If you're not, that's totally cool. I hope you find this shit entertaining still. See you guys. See you tomorrow. Peace.